Good evening, Jay. Good evening, everybody. Well, the players are ready and the fans are ready too for a game that has absolutely everything. This is where the Champions League gets really special. A knockout game between two of the favourites, two of the very best teams in the world who are about to go head to head. The champions of England against the champions of Germany. The pocket there for Rodri skips away from. It's a ridiculous strike on the biggest of stages, but Guardiola just turns and walks away like he's seen it all before. But the celebrations on the terraces tell you just how special and just how big that goal was. Well, it goes to Haaland, promising for City, pulls across to Bernardo Silva! Target is stones. Holland! Dreamland in the Champions League for Manchester City who can smell the semi-finals. And the man they signed to take them to the promised land has scored the third goal tonight. Manchester City 3, Bayern Munich 0. What a performance. Easy finish for a man who makes all of the finishes look easy. Full time. And that's one of Manchester City's great nights in Europe. They've taken Bayern Munich apart tonight. Pep Guardiola must be so proud of his players. They've hammered Bayern Munich tonight. Manchester City 3, Bayern Munich 0. Here it is then, the power game. The Kings and those who would dethrone them. Arsenal five points up, City two games in hand. One of them will be crowned 32 days from now. And tonight's winners will be the likeliest and finding De Bruyne, Grealish is the extra man De Bruyne win himself and scored beautifully so smooth, so certain he's just the perfect package it's 1-0 the champions in by De Bruyne, 2-0 City but the flag is up against John Stones wait for this, wait for this here it comes, Stones scores the champions pull away on the cusp of half time. Steal by De Bruyne. Here goes Haaland. He's played in Kevin De Bruyne. And Kevin De Bruyne scores with slick simplicity. They look like champions. Why would he not be a champion? And Arsenal look broken. Is there a player on the planet right now with greater mastery over a football than Kevin De Bruyne? Leandro Trossard and thumped in by holding and Arsenal take a happy memory out of the night brief and late though it may be Foden Holland as if he wouldn't score the sharpest edge of all cuts through at the last his 33rd Premier League goal he holds the record now alone for a 38 game season the class the Elan, the certainty of champions, and now the champions have it to lose. Just so good, just too good. Individually, collectively, in a class of their own. And perhaps for Arsenal, the dream is drifting away. Time thrill is in the air. From this point on, every moment matters. This day matters for Julian Alvarez, who steps up into the mighty boots of Erling Haaland. Liverpool need it. Their agenda is somewhat less flashy than Peps and Cities, who have 11 games more to make up eight points and to remain the champions of England. Nor is that their only remaining ambition. They strike up Blue Moon. Jota's on his way. Gakpo's alongside. It is Diogo Jota. And it's Mo Salah! Liverpool ahead! Stunned silence in the Etihad! The champions trail. That's Ilkay Gundogan. This is Jack Grealish. Alvarez 1-1! A hot knife through butter. And everyone's bouncing.
dancing up and down, the big boy himself, on behalf of the man who fills his boots. Oh, that is a smashing goal. Oh, what a smashing ball. And Morris is onto it. And there is De Bruyne! Explosive! Immediate! Champions on a charge! Inside the first second half minute from behind City lead. A mammoth goal, a mammoth moment, a mammoth mood changer. Julian Alvarez! Gundogan! The bouncing blues! Beware, they are happening. City are happening. Allison exposed, Liverpool exposed, City just excellent. Here's De Bruyne. And there's Grealish! A delicious moment, which he proudly embraces. He has been a delight. He is impish, he is fun. He is bang on target. And Manchester City are pulling stylishly away. You've got to love the joy he brings to the game, Jack Grealish. City so special, so deliciously smooth. What a team. They are the cream. Cream in which Liverpool drowned. If Arsenal can hold off this torrent of excellence, and torrent it is, what a remarkable achievement it will be for them. Because City are coming, and doesn't Jurgen Klopp just know it? So Manchester City folk are overdue some uplift, some sustenance. Two successive defeats, two months and more without a home league win. No club demands more of itself than this, the champion club. Oh, Edison's pass was poor, and Kulosevsky pounces! And Tottenham steal! And Pep is on his knees. What next? Whatever next. And still Kane. And thrust in by Emerson Royal. Spurs are blinking this back. Can it be? Two goals in no time on the cusp of half time. And for Manchester City, it's a long way back. And Pep Guardiola's champions, eight points behind the league leaders, find themselves two goals behind the neighbours of those leaders. And City have a task on their hand. Manchester City are truly obliged here. Riyad Mahrez around Perisic. Mahrez, Grealish. A World Cup winner's goal. There is your mood changer. And believe me, you can feel the change of mood. City are in it again. Morris for Rodri. And Rodri for Morris. On behalf of Pep Guardiola, Erling Haaland has his first goal of 2023. Mahrez, and Perisic is committed and out of it. It's Riyad Mahrez! That's just stunning! Manchester City in microcosm! In less than a quarter of an hour, the lengthiest journey from utter despair to elation. That's what champions are made of. Thrust forward by Edison, and here is Riyad Mahrez, the man of a magnificent Manchester City moment. He's made it happen all by himself. When he shines, he truly glitters, Riyad Mahrez. He's a delicious footballer, and he has restored to a face that frowned that broad Catalan grin. The Algerian conjurer. The performance of a champion club. A club that despises the concept of defeat. A club that stared at a desperate deficit and then laughed in its face. Manchester City trailed at half time by two goals on the cusp of the break. But they came out for the second half and reminded us of who they are. Manchester City, magnificent. Of course, the champion's pennant still flies. There is no room here, Rebecca, for a white flag. Manchester City are going nowhere fast.